What's going on guys, Nick Wood here. Hey, in a previous video, I shared uh, my favorite niche of 2022, and I've also shared my favorite five niches, and I've also shared my least favorite niches. And so it kind of, uh, by me sharing that, I know that the question then is, okay, well, if, if these niches are so good, and if you're making money from them and, and they've been successful, why would you share it? Why would you tell people that you're having so much success in these niches? Well, my and I'm going to share why. Okay, so my mindset is completely different, and I've been uh, in, in in groups, I've been in um, circles, I've been I've had relationships with people, and everything's a secret, right? You know, I'm not going to tell you that I'm going here, I'm not in this, I'm in this niche, or I'm doing this or whatever, and I, I'm not like that. And here's why: um, about two years ago, uh, I I had the same kind of a mindset, and so what would happen is if I was researching a specific area. Okay, let's say I was going into concrete because I said that concrete is my favorite niche in 2022. Let's say I was going into concrete, right? If I went and started doing the homework and I came across another lead generator, okay? Didn't even matter. If, this is back. This is before, okay? Before things changed. But in the very beginning, if I came across another lead generator, didn't matter if there was no competition besides that person. I was had such a scarcity mindset. I would just, I would just move on. I'm like, well, it's already taken. It's done, Okay. Two years ago, I found an opportunity like this, and it was in uh, it was in the uh, tree service niche. Okay, this is in 2020, and I I saw another uh, lead generator, and I was a little bit discouraged, and I was like, you know what? And I looked at the population of the city, and I I thought to myself, there has got to be more than one business owner that's willing to take leads. Okay, so I and I, and I don't know if this person has a client or not. Um, but there's got to be more than one uh, business owner that's willing to take leads. So I did something I'd never done before, and I was a little bit nervous to do it, but I went ahead and built the site anyway. Now, nowadays, I don't build sites. I pre-sell my site, so it would be a little bit different. I would have gotten a deal first, but this was this was right in the beginning stages when I was started becoming obsessed with flat feet, and so I wasn't quite to that uh, pre-selling stage. So I built the site anyway, and lo and behold, I was able to land a client and it was a, a client that's paying me and still to this day, same exact client over a, th it's, it's not over, it's a thousand dollars a month on, on the dot, $1,000 a month. I actually think it's weekly. So it might be 250 a week. And they've been paying me that same amount since March of 2020. Okay. March of 2020, they've been paying me. 250 a week. And there's another lead generator in that space, in that city, uh, with almost an identical site. And so from that day, I realized, you know what, as long as there's the competition is low enough that I know I can still come in and get a site ranked, at least in the top three, there's got to be more than one person that will take leads. And you know, what also is interesting is you're also, if, if you get discouraged by seeing other people's sites that are in this space that are lead generators, you're also assuming that they actually have a client. There's a good chance that that person has a website that's generating leads and they don't even have a client because they're scared to jump on the phone. They don't know how to pitch. They don't know how to pre-sell. They don't know how to do results in advance. So now my whole game is like, okay, I'm going to just be open with the niches that I'm successful in. And uh, it's it's been nice because I, I was so weird about it. I was so close to my chest and I started thinking, well, like I wouldn't even add people from other programs and other groups because I was like, well, if they are my friends, then what if they see that one of my clients is my friend and then they connect the dots and they see that I'm in this niche and, and it's a scarcity mindset. That's, that's all it is. So I, I now I don't care. I, if I see a niche, if I, if I like a niche like concrete and I go and do the homework and there's another lead generator in there. Okay. And it's still a, a low hanging fruit niche. It's going to be possible to rank really quickly everything else checks out the way that I do, do uh, I do due diligence. I'm still rolling with that baby. I'm still going into that niche. I don't care. So that is why I share it. It, it, it makes it so I don't have this scarcity mindset. I don't worry about it because I don't care. And so I post videos of the closes that I do. I post videos of the niches that I'm in, the, the, the keyword list that I find, because I think that there, that we have too much of a scarcity mindset and it's in reality, it's not the case. So Anyway, as usual, uh, if you haven't already, uh, jump into my free Facebook group if you like anything that we talk about in this channel, which is all things flat fee sales with Rank and Rent, and I will see you soon.